hi what is up you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel i know it has been quite the minute since i have done a video so today i decided to do maybe a bag related video so um i have actually had this bag for quite a while but um we will just get into that and how i bought it why did i buy it and just everything about it <laughs> Okay, so the bag that I want to talk about is this Fendi baguette bag. So this is the baguette bag, but it's in the fur material. There's one that's canvas. I have been obsessed with the canvas one for so long, but I was able to find this one actually pre-loved. The reason why I looked into this pre-loved is because of the price increases that Fendi was having. And so I decided since it's like a classic bag, classic pattern, that I would go ahead and just buy this pre-loved. It made the most sense. And I will try to make another video later on on pre-loved market, pre-loved um, places to buy these kinds of goods. There's a ton, but one of my favorites, actually not sponsored, but my favorite is Fashion File. So this is where I got this bag. Off the bat, um, the bag came in pretty good condition. My only thing is that it slouches, but I think this is kind of just like the the type of style of it. I think this bag just slouches a lot. This is the interior, which is like leather here, but over here is more like of a fabric down there with some linings of leather. And it only has one zipper. And the zipper, um, I would say it couldn't fit a phone, but it could definitely fit like lip gloss or something, maybe just like a card, but not like a card holder. It's not that big and it is pretty roomy in here i don't know if you can see so against my card holder this dior one it goes up like that so it could definitely fit any way in here and if you have a long wallet it'll definitely fit in there too and in the front this is all gold hardware so all around the bag it is gold hardware in the straps in the front and even on the inside this bag it can be worn two different ways so the first way will be kind of like a um i wouldn't say shoulder but definitely like holding it like in your hand because over the shoulder it's a bit uncomfortable for me and it actually comes with two places to put the straps the other strap is like this for me i am 5'9 and i can't wear this crossbody it's not that comfortable so i like to wear this bag with both straps on just because if i were to wear it on my shoulder um and it falls off i can just easily grab it like this or if i get tired of wearing it on my shoulder i could just easily grab it like this and my only complaint for really is like when i I don't pack this bag in. It does slouch since I don't really carry that much stuff. So I always have to find stuff to put in it just so it takes like a good shape. But I know that there's a bag organizers for this bag and I would re definitely recommend one. I think with the canvas version of this bag, uh, you wouldn't have to use an organizer, but you can. I I think the canvas will just hold up its structure much better. Otherwise, I have been loving this bag. It is very versatile. I can wear it with almost anything. And uh, before, when I was younger, I really didn't think like, oh, well, I'm going to wear brown and black. I feel like they don't match. But honestly, I love it. And this Fendi combination is just so gorgeous. And in terms of like buying this bag i feel like with all the price increases going on i would not buy this from fendi i would like to see how the newest version is of this bag but i i still think that you can find so many of the fendi baguette on the pre-loved market only because it's been a long um out for so long so i don't think it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon this is like a classic style for fendi so definitely you can wear this at any occasion um, like casual occasion going out you know i love going to target just that's pretty much where i just dress up to go since i've been very busy lately so i would definitely just wear this anytime and you, so many combinations you can do with the straps and i think you can even add your own straps since both of these straps are detachable so this one comes right off and 
I don't know if I would wear this as just a clutch without any other straps, but it's possible. And it's definitely possible to add your own strap to it. I know Amazon has some good um, straps that you can use to make this longer. Or you can even add like a strap extender to the current strap and for sure it'll it'll go for like the crossbody version. One thing that I do struggle with sometimes is opening it. So when it's fully locked, it'll go right into the socket. So when it's fully locked, you can just, it, you kind of have to pull the bag. It's not like a smooth transition. And for me, I do like to open it well to the point where I'm not bending the bag. But with this one, it's a little bit impossible for them. Also, if you look here, it kind of, faded like the gold hardware from the clasping probably the clasping it so much because they hit against each other so i'm not too sure how that'll hold up most likely eventually it won't be gold and it'll just turn to silver but otherwise the interior is well and the leather on it isn't bad like i have some i hit it against my stuff of course and of course this is pre-loved but it doesn't have that many scratches on it and so far the fur too one thing i have concerns about is taking care of the fur i think that's also why i haven't worn it too much even though i love it um because i don't know if i should be taking care of it so if you guys have any suggestions please go ahead and leave them on the comments but otherwise the fur has been holding up pretty well i take care of it i know sometimes i just throw my bags everywhere but with this one i've been very careful on where i set it mostly because i don't want any dirt transfer or color transfer onto um this part of the bag or any part of the fur and thank you so much for watching this video if you guys have any further questions i hope i can answer them so please go ahead and leave them in the comments and i am very thankful for you guys following me thank you for watching this video and i hope to make more and see you guys in another video